Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Hey, hey, it's time for another episode of MechWarrior Online. And this one's going to be a, very, a bit of a different episode. Um, mostly because of the fact that uh, the game's out now. The game's been released. And so I want to actually... Uh, give you guys the best advice uh, for how to start with this game and what I recommend you do and all that kind of jazz uh, and what mechs to, to you can potentially start with and, and you know how to stay alive and stuff like that. Uh, so a, a common question I'm actually getting right now is, uh, sorry by the way I'm gonna just tell you what I'm running right now, a bunch of AC2s which is a long range uh, basically suppression weapon sort of uh, and it's uh, I got a lot of ammo for it but they fire very quickly uh, however, if I go against like some heavier weapons, uh, if someone comes up to me with uh, larger weapons than me, then I, I will probably lose. But, however, this is a long range map, so DPSing is absolutely fine. Anyway, so people keep asking me what kind of variants they should try and, uh, to get first, and you know, some tips on how to play the game. And uh, I consider myself, to, at the very least, to be an above average player. Uh, not the best, obviously. There's always someone better. Uh, I'm mostly good at lone wolfing. Uh, with the team, I'm just kind of like we do our own thing. We don't really worry about it. So I think I'm in a position to give give you some good advice if you're starting out, and uh, and hopefully you'll have a good time and, and try, try out this game because it's really good. Um, so this is the Jagger Mech, and the Jagger Mech is actually a fantastic chassis. It's actually the first. If you want to try out all the weapons, if you if you like, if you just want to get to basically making funky mech builds and all that kind of stuff. Get the Jagger Mech. The Jagger Mech has some of their best hard points in the game and no obvious disadvantages. And it doesn't have the problem that a lot of the other uh, uh, mechs that Specialize have because you're not committed to, you know, if you, if, <coughs> if you buy a catapult, then you're essentially committing to uh, LRM boating and st things like that. Like you're doing LRMs or SRMs or things like missiles. Missile type. It's a missile type mech, essentially. Uh, I'm gonna follow these guys. Um, so that's why I actually recommend Jagger Max and uh, get the variants that aren't the double D one. The double D. No, don't get that one. Get the. Um, I'm running the S right now, and I'll show you the A next. Uh, this is the Jagger Mech S. It has. Uh, I'm using all the slots right now. It's uh, four ballistics in the arms and uh, four lasers inside the torso so I can shoot my lasers around and then all that kind of stuff. It's actually, it's a really cool mech. It's, it's really, really, as I said, it's just, it's the best all around and if you can, if you, you basically can play around with playstyles and find something, find the weapons you like. Um, I'm just trying to do something different right now because, you know, I've done a ton of videos on this game and, uh, and you guys have seen gosses and PPCs and all that kind of crap, so I'm, I'm doing something different right now just to kind of, you know, New target acquired. Mess around with you guys, uh, but you know, as I said, you, you can you can trial the weapons because that's the biggest problem is that you know someone has a regret they buy a mech they don't like you know either it's too squishy or it's too slow or something like that. Basically, Jagger Mechs will let you try out uh, uh, different playstyles, and it's not it's a great mix between speed and uh, and uh, act, and uh, sorry and armor. So I'm being shot right here. I'm gonna just back off. He hit me in my leg though, so it's okay. So you can see I'm I'm kind of just a spamming guy here. Uh, I have a lot of range though with this, so I'm I'm okay. So let me go hurt this guy. So you basically just find a guy, just ruin his day. And someone over there is hitting me too. So they see me out in the distance. So what you do is you just back up when you see damage. Ideally, you want to fight with your team. If you if you're afraid to go forward, it's okay. Um, then you're, I, you're ideally, you should be, to, to you know, I, I won't even lie, I'm gonna give you like the no bullshit advice if you want to get C bills and all that kind of crap. Someone's capping your base right now. Like, stay with your team, don't go out on your own, watch what your team is doing. So right now their team is just kind of exposed down the open, so I'm just kind of giving like a nice suppressing fire here. And I'm on a very nice backup weapon, so we're actually in a really good spot right now. So, you know, don't expose yourself too much, um, and, you know, if you're, too, if you're cautious, it's not a bad thing, and I just killed a guy. So this is not a bad, this is not a bad loadout. It's always, it's always better to be cautious. Uh, stay with the like, these teal guys, by the way, and the blue guys in general, though. Uh, so, you know, the, the teal guys are your, your, your lance, which you're supposed to generally work, work as a, as a lance. And I'm out of autocannon ammo. Wow, okay. 
So now I'm a brawling mech. I didn't actually think I'd use all that ammo, but that really goes really fast. I could have probably... This is what I mean, you know? I, I, I kind of just tried a weird build, and, you know, it's it's one of those things where you kind of learn. I'm like, well, I don't have enough ammo. So the next time you're in the mech lab, you can change that, you know? So this is the more of the ballistics and laser variant. So you can do a lot of, like... You can either equip, like, really heavy weapons, or you can equip uh, really light weapons. And, 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 like, what I'm doing. This is, very li this is a very light mech. And so if you buy a Jagger mech, by the way... I highly recommend you start with, uh, basically, uh, a, an XL 250... Oh, okay, so this is what you do in the order, okay? you If you want a missile variant of the Jagger mech, you get the A. If you want to try missiles more, uh, if you want to try more ballistics and stuff, you get the, the S, which is what I'm trying right now. Uh, ballistics and energy weapons, that is. Um, and, you know, it's, it's okay... Uh, it's okay to choose either one. Like, if you decide you don't like missiles, there's a lot of ballistics variants you can actually do with that as well. Uh, so it's, you know, it, there's a lot you can, you can, there's a lot you can salvage it. If you don't like something, you can put something else on it. Uh, and so I did actually pretty well in that match, I would say. Yeah, so there you go. I'll give you more tips and advice uh, when we get back. All systems. Hey, so we're back and I now have a little bit of a... Uh, a hybrid of missiles, ballistics, and energy weapons. Once again, filling out every slot I possibly could. Some more medium lasers as well, you know, because why not? But this one has LRMs this time, so, you know, just to show you that you can LRM boat in this, you can even put, like, uh, if you want to be more of an LRM boat, you can put LRM, a bunch of LRM 10s in. So you notice I'm sticking with the team. And uh, that's, that's how we're going to do this. Um, okay, so anyways, back to what I was saying before. Um, so, if you are... Uh, so you basically decide if you want the A or the S, and I'm showing you both mechs, so you can decide if you, you really want to try missile weapons or you really want to try more ballistics. It's completely up to you. Uh, you get that. The next step when you get that, uh, you upgrade it to endosteel, then double heat sinks, and then it's and then it's actually usable. It's a usable mech. And then you should save for an XL255 engine, which will take a while to get, but uh, when you get there, then you can just fuck around with builds all day long. Oh god, I'm, I'm, I'm getting my ass kicked. So there you go, I'm, I'm, you can see me, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm trying to missile them right now. So right there I kind of got caught on the open, I didn't expect that, and I had to run back. It's unfortunate, but yeah. So, XL255, and then that's it! You can just, you can screw around all day long, and it does not matter. You can try any kind of build you want. It's a very solid mech. Uh... Hello, guy who's in front of me. Well, at least he's getting hit and t absorbing the shots from me. You know, and 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 that's it. So, uh, and you know, and and that's what I mean. So, it's the Jagger mechs are great because it has two fantastic variants. Okay, let me get this guy. Okay, I'm gonna back up. Unfortunately, I'm probably gonna lose my lock on this guy. So, uh, when you get when you get a missile, I'll obviously stand behind a rock or something. That's why usually people in this game just kind of stand behind stuff, and that's pretty. And that's that's how you do it. So just stick with your team, try and get opportunistic shots. Uh, especially if you're like me right now, I'm playing, I'm playing a missile variant. So, and so uh, and that's it. That's how you basically get into this game. So if someone's just missling you, just you know, just stay behind something. It's okay. You don't have to eat that damage. So right now I'm just cycling through targets trying to get locks on things. And then now I'm going to just missile this guy. I'm just trying to get a lock on this guy. Don't be afraid to use things like your heat vision and all that. Fortunately I lost my lock there. That's okay. So that's how you do it. So if you want to get grind Z-bills like No Tomorrow and things like that. Um, my advice to you is basically hit everybody once. Hit everybody on the enemy team. It doesn't matter how much damage you hit them for. If you win that game, you get a lot of assists and you get a lot of money out of that. It's a no bullshit way of getting money. I'm sorry. Uh, that's honestly... I'm not saying kill yourself for the off chance that you're going to be able to... Oh, uh, and my, my torso is almost gone. Oh, shit. Oh, uh, hey. Uh, so, this guy doesn't see me yet. Uh, let's just go away from here because this is a bad place. I'm gonna get fucked if uh, we stay here. Because we are kind of a. We're, we're LRM slash uh, wounded boat, so. It's 
so I'm gonna just kill these people. So get get as many assists as you possibly can. Uh, that will get you a lot of money. Damage done also gets you a lot of money. And as well, if you want to just add a little bit of icing to the cake, equip a tag and use that to spot people uh, while you're attacking them. Because um, you get a bunch of bonuses for that. Fortunately, this guy is within my 100 meter, 80 meter minimum range. But luckily, I did help him with that, so... He was just trying to get away from that. So we just get locks on people. Uh, even though I can't see him, it's okay. I'm not I'm not a huge LRM boat. I'm more meant for, you know, just kind of using a mix of stuff. But my UAC-5s keep jamming, so... They're okay weapons, though. You know, there's nothing wrong with them. We can just get a lock on that guy. Nope. Okay, so you can do that. That's two ways you can get a lot of money. And I killed that guy now. And it, that's that's a good way of doing it. So like you notice how I'm not actually exposing myself. I'm kind of staying behind my team, and I'm getting a lot. I'm getting a lot of picks off this way. Uh, it's it's it, as I said, it's very solid chassis. And you know what? The other thing is though, if you decide though that you don't really like how slow the Jaggermech goes, or you don't like how squishy it is, you can go either up to the assaults, or you can go down to the lights. You know, you can you can easily go from either one. But if you like the Jaggers, if you think you're right where you are, you can get all the variants and master them all. And get like speed tweak uh, and all kind of like there's masteries in this game the pilot masteries uh, you get experience with the mech so I got like you know 821 experience which was actually pretty pathetic but you know well it's actually okay but um, you know you get the masteries you make the mech even better you know you can make the Jagger mechs the best chassis you have and you roll around with them so they're pretty good all systems. hey okay we're in the S again and I'm doing another uh, this is um, a shotgun variant of uh, what I was doing before so I got some pulse lasers and some shotguns, which I will not fire now because they actually have ammunition problems. Uh, so uh, if you decide that you don't want to get a Jager mech, if you're really obsessed with getting either light or assault or whatever, uh, fear not because I'll give you advice on that too, what to get. Uh, generally speaking, mediums suck. Uh, I'm not going to lie, the only thing that's good about them is they're cheaper. They're not agile enough. Uh, as opposed to heavies, which you can buy. Like, th that's the thing. In in mech lore, apparently mediums are there. Like, mediums exist because most houses or most factions or whatever can't afford heavier mechs. So they buy mediums. So that's why mediums exist. But mediums tend to be pretty terrible um, overall. Would not actually recommend you getting a medium at all, at any point. Because it's just, you know, if you want to be silly, sure, but don't make that your first mech. For love of God, don't do that. I, I love you. I love each and one, every, every one of you. You, you deserve better. Um, so is that. And then, uh, so you can get, so if you want to get something that's fast or slow, if you need something fast, you need to go equip the heaviest engine on it. Uh, sorry, like the, the best engine you can and go as fast as you humanly possible. Like, you, as fast as you possibly can. That's, that's it. Well, I can't really help here, I think, so. Yeah. There you go. I shotgunned him a little bit. Acquired. So you, you just, you want to go fast, essentially, in a light. Uh, as you get heavier, speed is not an issue. It's more about the heat sinks and, and equipping really nice weapons Acquired. on it, which is why Jaggers are probably the start of a mix between, like, they're as agile as medium mechs, and they're, they're, they have a fair bit of armor, and they get a fair bit of punch, so when you see a Jagger, it's, it's a pretty good mech. Generally speaking, though, uh, for any mech chassis, uh, ECM variants are the best. E if there is an ECM variant of a mech, that's the best automatically. I wonder if I can go help this guy. Actually, I shouldn't split off from the group because splitting off means you're probably going to die. New target acquired. I can't really get in there. I don't really want to poke my head over because they they ha they you see when their team stops somewhere, it chances are acquired. it's because something's over there and you don't really want to see what's there. Oh, you hit my center torso somehow. Anyways, um, so there's that. And, uh, as I was just saying, so ECM variants are the most, the best. Because ECM is so, like, the ECM is basically, like, they have the little things above them. And then this Atlas is the one giving the ECM. So you can actually see the ECM thing right there. Um, so we're all cloaked. We can't, they can't missile lock on us and all. It's very, very useful. It's very nice. Um, so there's that. Oh, that, that was just a building, my bad. 
Uh, any, anything with jump jets is also pretty good. See, this is what happens when you poke your head over. It's just, you get screwed. Uh, anything with jump jets also becomes, like this guy's jump jets, he's able to kind of peek over these hills. You can also, when p people are up close to you, you use the jump jets to basically fuck up their aim because it's like another dimension of movement. You can get over obstacles and get get away easier. You can climb on top of things. It's overall very, very nice. Uh, so there, there's no reason to not use uh, jump jets if there's a variant that has one. Uh, it's, it's very nice. Um, Honestly, as I said, there's not a whole lot of bad choices you can make. It's overall, it's a game where, as I said, as long as you're not going mediums, I think you'll be okay. You know? Don't, 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 don't even... I, I, I just, you know, some people would disagree with me. I'm, I'm very hard set on the fact that I think mediums are terrible. I got hit by a laser somewhere. Oh, this guy. Just using this so I can actually see him. So I'm using this to basically poke at him when he's in there. Technically, he's out of my range, so it's okay. Um, another important uh, few tips for you is know your mech's uh, weapon loadouts and limitations because uh, that's that's kind of important to know because my medium pulses actually have double the range. They just won't do as much damage, but I can still poke at people. There's no reason I can't do that. Uh, LB tanks have like three times the range. Like I think all ballistics have three times the range. And missiles are pretty much... Uh, they're, they're pretty much standard. As well as the fact as no, the heat, uh, g there's a mechanic called ghost heat if you have a certain amount of too many weapons. Uh, like if I have quad PPCs these days, even though I did a video on it a while ago, they had something called ghost heat. If I fire more than two PPCs at once, I get uh, really, really crappy heat efficiency. So uh, it, on the on the, on the the Mech, Mech Lab Smurfy site, which is the one I use to basically link my builds, you can look there, and on the main main page, it'll tell you everything you need to know about the weapons and and a, a lot of a lot of other crap like that. So, you know, uh, do. But it, this is the kind of this is a game that's very good at like for like theory crafting and stuff. You can have a lot of fun. The, the fun in this game is honestly with the with the building of mechs, though. Oh god! And don't shoot your teammates in the back. That's a very bad idea. So you can notice how that misery is shooting one ER laser at me at a time. That's because uh, he doesn't, he'll, he'll get ghost heat if he doesn't do that. So he has to link fire at, uh, which you just do by going on a link uh, on a Target weapon group and pressing acquired. backspace. So now the controls and all that kind of crap. That's also very important stuff to know. Uh, this guy, this guy can crit like crazy. Fortunately, I'm being shot from somewhere. This Atlas is constantly in my way. New target acquired. I wanna, I'm, I'm following this Atlas into battle here. Yeah, I may regret it any second now, but that's okay. Oh, oh, this Atlas. This Atlas is about to hate life. And I got a savior kill, damn it. Thought I had that. Alright, so we'll move up with this Atlas here. So, you know, I'm, I'm, hanging, I'm hanging out with, like, you know, important members of my team, basically. I'm using them as cover, I won't even fucking lie to you. Uh, cause, you know... Screw everything about about that. Like I'm not running in there when when they're not running in there. So I just noticed he stopped. So now I'm gonna back up and maybe get another pot shot off if I can see someone in my heat vision. And you know I'm turning my torso as well to to negate damage as well. New target acquired. So this guy has a bunch of ACs. So I'm, he's he, he's gonna hit me, so I'm gonna back up now. I'm unfortunately taking damage completely from my center torso. Uh-oh, about to die. Well, that's unfortunate. And I was just completely stuck on that, so... Oh well, that's, that's life. Hey, hey, we won that. So we weren't that far from a victory. Uh, we we won about three three people down. So you know it's okay if you win or lose. Don't worry about dying. It's I consider this to be a very unserious game. Uh, nobody's gonna get pissed at you if you die. So uh, just don't run ahead. Don't separate from your group and stuff like that. And you go eight assists, and you get a fair bit of money for that, anyways. So. All systems nominal. Okay, so this last one here I'm doing for you is a bit of a silly build. Uh, it's not optimal. I will not lie to you. I have the basically fastest standard engine. If you don't know the difference between standard and XL engines, I can lose my side torsos with a standard engine, and I'll still be alive. Um, question is, do I actually want to be alive with half of my weapons? Uh, that's that's completely debatable. That's the debate I make. But 
Uh, it's got uh, some ER large lasers for poking at long distance. And DACA! Not a whole lot of damage, but, you know, if someone is componented, I can do actually a lot of damage. And I have a lot of ammo as well, probably way too much. But it's just for fun, you know? Fun, guys? Remember that? You could probably make this build a whole lot better, but, you know, I'm just, I'm just, I'm messing around, what can I say? Uh, as my last one. This is actually the, the Jagger Mech I recommend you don't get, because this is one of the only things you can, you can't do very much with, uh, all these ballistic slots. Six like ballistic for trading for two energy, and it's just, eh, I don't even know. But, uh, you know, anyways, uh, I guess I'm just gonna wrap up by saying, you know, uh, ha try the game, have fun. Uh, experiment, try new things. Uh, remember, it's not a twitch shooter. It's not about how, how fast you you aim per se. Uh, it, or it's it's more of a BattleTech uh, simulator, like a BattleTech simulator. Like like you're supposed to be like driving these big ass mechs. This guy's almost dead. I'm sure someone else will get him. And I just hit that guy who went in front of me. Uh, actually, I'm not going to go ahead. Later. I'm not going there. I kind of followed this other guy into battle here. And we're getting fucked right now. So I'm going to just go up up here. And let's just run away. So I'm going to try and just, you know, invade slightly. Which I didn't take any damage there, weirdly enough. Even though I saw that clearly hit me. But you know, it's it's as I said, it's it's mostly a teamwork game. You fucking Atlas! Oh my god, I fucking hate you. Uh, and it's more, it's as I said, it's just it's not a. You, you just mess around, make builds. That's half the fun of this game is you make weird builds, and you make it work, and you have fun with it. And remember, there's also like a third person camera if you want to like see where you're because moving is the hardest part. There's disadvantages to being in this mode, but you can definitely use it. Uh, I don't clearly use it, so you know, I'm just gonna poke at people. Hey, he poked at me. Unfortunately, I've gone way far back. Uh, let's get that Orion. Oh, it's a Kentaro. Sorry. I completely missed up. So, and also, you know, um, you can see usually on the models of other players where their heaviest weapons are. Uh, like a Hunchback, for example, has their uh, they're always their heaviest ballistic weapon on like their left torso, and you'll just get used to that. It's part, kind of part of the learning process of this game, is you 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 just you begin to understand. Fucking this guy, right in front of me. Um, I, I just I cannot get a single person. All right, let's just run at this guy. No highlighter. You cannot run. Oh, and now I'm, g now I'm gonna crit the crap out of him. Yeah, that's what happens when they have no core armor. Oh, you just s me in the face. Oh, getting hit in the back. I need to s switch my torso around. And this guy is dead? Yeah, he's dead. I, I kind of want to hit that guy. Let's go get him. Run at him. Even now, even though I'm out in the open, it's a terrible idea. Because people are just gonna shoot me while I'm out here. Oh what? Oh no no, you get a la you get a laser too. Let's get behind this flame. I hate flames. Dragons are smelly. Dragons have a giant center torso. By the way, the champion mechs, uh, the way it works is for trial mechs. Because if you're in a, if you're in a, if you haven't bought a mech yet, uh, you'll be running, you'll be running trial mechs. Trial mechs are always worse than, uh, than custom built mechs. I might die. Okay, I, he took out half my crap, and now I'm dead. Well, that's life for you. But you know, um, trial mechs in their stock loadouts, they suck because they're kind of tied to lore, and lore doesn't really work well in Battletech games like this. Um, champion mechs are community-built ones. They're technically, be they're probably as good as you're gonna get in trials, so try and run those ones more. Uh, and when you buy your own, obviously that's the best because you can customize it however you want. And if you're a complete number whore, numbers whore like I am, then you're gonna have a good time with that because you know you want to have like the, the most optimal engine with the most optimal stats, the most optimal weapons, and all that kind of crap. So that's that's how I that's how I enjoy that's why I enjoy this game. 
Let's just watch this guy kill the guy who just killed me. Completely zoomed in. Up close. Oh, this poor guy only has an AC5. Hey, he's dead. <laughs> I want to see the other guy. What does he have? Yeah, this guy has an AC20. He's a yellow wing, though. These are... That, that's a medium right here. So it goes to show you the agility of them. It's, it's not very well. Very, not very good. Not well. Well is not the right phrase for that. But uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much all the advice I can give you. Things like Gosses, PPCs, are, like most of the weapons are actually fairly balanced and all pretty useful now. They have their roles. Um, just remember that all the weapons generally have similar DPS within like one or two, uh, sometimes almost three DPS, like damage per second. But they just they either fire faster or they fire slower. So just because it's a light mech doesn't mean you're not going to do as much damage as you know the guy with like quad PPCs. Because a lot of this game, you have to learn how to manage your heat and all that kind of crap, so... Let's just go watch this guy. So, you know, heavier weapons does not necessarily equate to a better player or a better mech. It's just, you gotta, you gotta understand those kinds of mechanics. And yeah, so, uh, hope you guys have fun and, uh, you know, if you see me, uh, stream a couple times, you know. I stream it fairly often. It's just, it's just an atlas, you guys can do this. Oh, maybe they can't. That guy has a lot of weapons on him. And also, you know, when you're even when you're dead, you can you can leave and try another trial mech, or you can watch other players and you can kind of learn how they do it. Because this guy's kind of running away, though. Not necessarily what they do is the right thing. Actually, this could be pretty epic. This is like a an Atlas versus Yellow Wang duel. This could be really awesome or really pathetic. Pick one. But it's a medium versus an assault. So keep that in mind. And he's not choosing to fight. Well, uh, he tried to go for the cap, but the Atlas is not really that slow, and he got back there and uh, and kicked his ass, basically, because he was running and probably wasn't doing the, the mediums, man. Not even once. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed, and uh, even though I lost, I got a lot of money out of that, so that's kind of interesting. So I hope you enjoyed, and uh, I'll be seeing you later. Bye.